Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was the first probe to leave the solar system and has been roaming the vastness of space for over 40 years, sending back valuable information about the outer planets of the solar system. During its journey, Voyager 1 made surprising discoveries about Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, including discovering rings on Saturn, active volcanoes on Io and liquid water geysers on Enceladus. Furthermore, Voyager 1 was the first to detect evidence of the existence of the Helioshee, a region where the solar wind is prevented from moving forward by the pressure of interstellar matter. In this video, we're going to explore these discoveries and much more, so make yourself comfortable and come with us on this incredible journey through space with Voyager 1. But first, I ask that you leave your like, your subscription to the channel, which is very important and also activate the notification bell and enable the option all, to receive more videos like this. Voyager 1 was the first probe to leave the solar system and become an interplanetary object. This occurred on September 12, 2013, when the probe crossed the heliopause, a region where the solar wind meets the interplanetary wind. Voyager 1 was launched in September 1977 with the mission to study Jupiter and Saturn, but it continued to send back scientific data until the end of 2020 well beyond its expected time of operation. As it left the solar system, Voyager 1 entered a region known as the interstellar medium, a region between the stars where the sun's influence is minimal. The probe is designed to continue operating even in low energy conditions and continues to send back scientific data about the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 also carries a message engraved on a gold disk known as the Voyager message, which contains information about humanity and Earth, as well as instructions for reproducing the message, should it be found by other forms of life. Voyager 1 is the first human interstellar spacecraft and its mission is considered one of the greatest successes in the history of space exploration. The Discoveries of Voyager 1 Discoveries on Jupiter the discovery that Jupiter's atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium was one of Voyager 1's most important achievements during its mission to study the outer planets of the solar system. Prior to the Voyager 1 mission, scientists believed that Jupiter's atmosphere was composed primarily of methane, ethane and ammonia, as was the case for Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. However, Voyager 1 was able to measure the composition of Jupiter's atmosphere using its ultraviolet spectrometer and found that Jupiter's atmosphere is composed primarily of hydrogen, 89%, and helium, 11%. In addition, Voyager 1 also found that Jupiter's atmosphere contains smaller amounts of methane, ammonia and other gases. He also found that the atmosphere has distinct layers, including a layer of ammonia clouds, a layer of water clouds, and a layer of clouds of silica and other minerals. These discoveries were crucial to understanding Jupiter's atmosphere and helped scientists better understand how giant planets form and evolve. Discoveries on Saturn Voyager 1 was responsible for revealing the true nature of Saturn's rings, which consist of ice particles, on its mission to study the outer planets of the solar system. This discovery was notable, as Saturn's rings had long been sighted, but their true nature and composition remained a mystery until the Voyager 1 mission. The probe was able to photograph Saturn's rings with high resolution and found that they are composed mainly of ice particles, with diameters ranging from a few millimeters to a few meters. The probe also discovered that the rings are made up of several distinct layers, each with its own unique structure and characteristics. What's more, Voyager 1 also found that the rings are held together in their current form by tiny satellites known as scopes. 
that hold the ice particles together and prevent them from being sucked into the planet. These discoveries were crucial to understanding Saturn's rings and helped scientists better understand how rings form and evolve. Voyager 1 also discovered rings around Uranus and Neptune. But these rings are much less visible and less structured than Saturn's rings. Discoveries on Uranus Voyager 1 found that Uranus's atmosphere is mostly methane, which was an important discovery. Previously, scientists believed that Uranus's atmosphere would be similar to that of Jupiter and Saturn, with hydrogen and helium as the main components. The Voyager 1 discovery showed that Uranus's atmosphere is unique compared to the other giant planets. However, Voyager 1 was able to measure the composition of Uranus's atmosphere using its ultraviolet spectrometer and found that Uranus's atmosphere is composed mostly of methane, 2.3%. In addition, Voyager 1 also found that Uranus's atmosphere contains smaller amounts of hydrogen, 82.5%, helium, 15.2%, and other gases such as ammonia and acetylene. These discoveries were crucial to understanding Uranus's atmosphere and helped scientists better understand how giant planets form and evolve. The presence of methane in large amounts on Uranus, compared to the other giant planets, is one of the most notable features of this planet. Methane is responsible for Uranus's unique blue-green color. Subsequent studies also showed that methane is an important indicator of the presence of active geological processes on the planet, such as volcanism and tectonics. Discoveries on Jupiter's moons The discovery that the moons of Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus have their own unique characteristics was one of the important discoveries by Voyager 1 and 2 during its mission to study the outer planets of the solar system. The Voyager probes were able to photograph the moons in high resolution and found that each moon has its own unique features, such as active volcanoes, geysers, mountains, craters and other landforms. For example, Voyager 1 found that Jupiter's moon Io has active volcanoes, which is unique among the solar system's moons. Voyager 2 found that Saturn's moon Enceladus has liquid water geysers, suggesting the existence of an underground ocean. Saturn's moon Titan has a dense, cloud-covered atmosphere and is considered one of the most interesting moons in the solar system. These discoveries of unique features of the moons of Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus were crucial to understanding the satellites of the giant planets and helped scientists better understand how these moons formed and evolved. In addition, these discoveries also increased the possibility of life beyond Earth, as moons like Io and Enceladus have characteristics that suggest the existence of water and heat, important conditions for life as we know it. The discovery of active geysers and volcanoes on these moons, for example, are indicative of active geological processes, which may be related to the existence of water and heat. Voyager 1 was the first spacecraft to detect evidence of the existence of the heliosheath, a region where the solar wind is kept from flowing by the pressure of interstellar matter. The heliosphere is a bubble of solar wind and charged particles that is created by solar activity. The heliosheath is the region of the heliosphere where the solar wind begins to subside and meets interstellar matter. In 2004, Voyager 1 detected a change in the direction and intensity of the solar wind, indicating that the spacecraft had entered the heliosheath. In 2007, Voyager 1 detected a significant decrease in the density of charged particles, indicating that the probe had crossed the heliosheath and entered the interstellar region. 
This discovery was important for understanding how solar activity affects the interstellar region and how the heliosphere protects the solar system from dangerous particles. Voyager 1's most recent discovery is that it entered a new region of interstellar space called the Transition Region in November 2018. This occurred when the probe detected a change in the direction of cosmic gamma-ray radiation, indicating that Voyager 1 had entered a region where cosmic gamma-ray radiation is most intense and interstellar plasma density is lowest. This discovery was important for understanding how the heliosphere connects with the interstellar region and how cosmic radiation affects the heliosphere. And then, will we have some amazing discoveries coming around? Leave your comment below about, we reached the end of another video, did you like it? Leave your like, your comment, and subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to receive all new videos from the channel. Until next time bye.